Hi, welcome to my channel, Our Network TV. Please subscribe to my video, subscribe to my channel, and like this video. Now, still on the alleged, the arrest of the alleged for that called serial killer who has so far killed, who has killed 13 young ladies in hotel rooms in Port City and the, and the cities within that vicinity, Port Owere and some other cities. Now, a story from The Sun Online, Sun newspaper, Sun Online, says, according to his confession, during his confession, he said, I don't know what pushes me to kill women. The Port serial killer confesses. He doesn't know what pushes him to kill women. The story went on to say that at last the notorious Portacourt serial killer of young women, Gracious David West, has been nabbed by the River State Police Command. The arrest of a 39 year old man followed an outcry by members of repeated by members of the public of repeated killings of the victims in hotels in River State. West hails from Buguma in Asari, an Asar Toru local government area of rivers. He was paraded by police yesterday, that's been Friday, that's on Friday, last Friday, by State Commissioner of Police, Mustafa Dandaura, at the Police Command Headquarters, Moscow Road, Patakot. South this son gathered that the suspect was arrested last Thursday by police team on a routine stop and search operation along Ogoni axis of the east-west road en route to Akwaibom state. It will be recalled that recently the suspect was sighted in a CCTV camera in one of the hotel receptions in Paracourt after allegedly killing a female victim. In his confession, the suspect admitted that he was or he has killed seven girls West claimed that he was under spiritual manipulation coming from a polygamous home where he said he is the only son of the family with female siblings. He described, as the newspaper quotes him, I'm a native of Buguma in a territory local government area of River State. I was born in 19, 1980. I don't know what is causing me to kill women in the hotel. When the spirit comes, it will be pushing me to kill and kill. Then after killing the person, I will start regretting my actions. The young man further disclosed that he has also committed the same crime in Lagos and Owe. He revealed that phones recovered from the victims were sold to a phone dealer known as Shino at Garrison in the state capital. I always go to the hotel with a kitchen knife. When we, as with the girl, go inside the room, after eating, after making love, we will sleep for a while. When the girl is sleeping, I will hold, hold her hand on the neck with a knife and wake her up. I will tell her not to shout. Now, if she shouts, I will cut off her tongue with the knife. At that threat, the girl will not shout. So she will relax, believing that I will not kill her. I will promise her that I will only tell her and keep, and keep but will not kill her. After that, I will tear the pillow, the pillowcase, and use it to tie her hands and legs. So when I kill her, she will not struggle with me. But before I kill her, I will increase the volume of the television in the room, so no one will suspect my action. While this will be going on, some of them will, will ask me, how do I want it? They, that they have money in their accounts. I will ask her how much. They will check it before me. When I confirm it, I will collect the PIN number. After the day breaks, when I'm, I must have killed them, I will go to the ATM and collect the money in the account. I will use the money and get other girls. I have killed five girls in Portacourt. Seven Oweri. I started the killing in Lagos. That was where I got money because the first girl I had, 52,000 naira in her account. After that, I went to Podakot, then away. I returned to Podakot, the last girl I met in the club. After that, I would collect the phone and sell the phone at water lines, another at MTN office, 
After killing them, I take their phones and sell it to one boy called Shino in Garrison. After killing the victim, I will stay in the room till daybreak until the laundry I the laundry I give my clothes to wash brings back my clothes. Then I will leave the hotel room. Leave no suspicion in mind of the hotel management, he said. He stated. According to him, he had attended one of the popular Pentecostal churches in Oyibo local government area in the state to meet the pastor for spiritual deliverance. I even went to the church, a branch in Oyibo. I told the pastor that I, I kill girls in a hotel, but I don't know what is happening to me and it should help me. So the pastor told me that they have, they have a program that I should come back on Friday. He said that they don't allow people to sleep in the church. He told me to come back the next day so he can take me to the general overseer who will be at the crusade. When I told him that it would be hard for me to see the GO, he said, I should go, I should go that there is no other way he can help me. After I left the church, I went to lodge in a hotel and slept alone that day. I'm the one doing all the serial killings in Polakot. I was with a girl two days ago, but I didn't harm her. But when it comes to when it comes on me, I will kill the person, he confessed. <laughs> wow. Earlier, CP directed that the Tatnaya old suspect confessed the killings of girls in Lagos, Oweri, and Patakot. He expressed the lie that one of the prime suspects in the killing that has caused panic in the state has been arrested. He said, I am delighted to that the, the CP, the state CP said, I am delighted to have you here today, barely three days after I had addressed you on the rising cases of mindless killings in hotels in the state and the measures put in place by the command to arrest the seemingly disturbing trend which had attracted both international and local condemnation. Today, it is my pleasure to announce to you that resulting from the measure put in place, the command has apprehended gracious David West that nine years old from Boguma in a territorial government of River State. Wow. Wow. This is this is this is terrible. Please, young ladies out there, be careful. Do not go to hotel rooms with someone you don't know. Even people you know, be cautious of the places you go to people you go with people. Please. Please there are insane people out there this time around. I will thank the police for arresting this uh, serial killer. Kudos to the Nigerian police. So that ends it here for today. Thank you, people. Please don't forget to subscribe and like the video. Bye.